You clicked on this video because I've claimed that Kano has a 100% win rate strategy that nobody realizes. So what is this strategy? Well put simply, we're just pitch stacking an unpreventable combo kill to kill our opponents as soon as we hit second cycle of our deck. This combo is going to have multiple wildfires and or blazing aethers to allow us to go over any amount of AB and or oasis respites that the opponent has. Along with those main combo pieces in the stack, we will be stacking any amount of tomes to allow us to generate an insane amount of resources to enable us to play a 5 to 6 spell long combo and on top of that we'll also be focusing on stacking gaze the ages to allow us to buffer any unnecessary cards for our combo using the opt effect. Now to facilitate this strategy we focus on four things during the actual match. Number one is just setting up all of our potions. This holds the highest priority over anything else as through the first cycle we just want to be getting out all of our potions because these resources allow for additional cards to be added into our combo and then also we run one potion of deja vu which allows us to put cards from our hand into our pitch and then place those cards on top of the deck to add to the combo if needed. Second, until we set up our god stack, I will be focusing on stacking my cards to the bottom of the deck to set up our win con. Only after I have successfully set up a god stack will I choose to play my spells instead of stacking. Number three, we're going to be blocking out a lot. We focus on blocking for two main reasons. One, because we need to not die before we reach our god stack combo, obviously. And then number two, blocking allows us to remove the cards from our deck so that the god stack doesn't have too many unnecessary cards in the middle of it. Now lastly for the strategy we're going to be keeping a deck count and then that's it. So this strategy is completely replicable against every single non-aggro deck in the format currently since all you really need to do is not die in your first cycle of your deck and then you win. This is the deck list I will be using for the gameplay link in the description but let's get straight into it. Let's see if we can pitch stack against this guy. Um, so the count's at four he's gonna dominate off the bat that's fine. Um, think I want to pitch away the tome. I guess I can pitch uh, these two together and then block with the spindle. Just looking to play the potion on our turn, so we'll do a Kano. Yeah. So now the count's at five. Uh, and then I'm gonna zap you off for two. So we trade a little bit of health, not bad. So count's at five, count's at five. Block three, we take five, it's fine. No arsenal for him. So if we can have a meaningful turn one, that's perfect. And then we just put tone blue, tone blue and it's at five. And then we draw three, nice draw here. So I will be arsenaling this. Uh, I do want to put another blue at the bottom here. So look to Kano first. So it'll be tone blue, blue. And then the count was five plus three, so we're at eight. Whoops. So the counts at eight. That kind of makes me want to shoot this lesson so I can take a card from him and then all he can do is Anathos me. I kind of don't mind it because next turn I want to play that Nourishing anyway or play this potion. And then at least my stack is Tome, Blue, Blue, and then it'll be another Tome. Really emphasizing on keeping this potion because I've only got one deja vu pot in my, in my 60 right now. And we will refuse to search off the lesson. So the count's still at eight. Choose the tutor, note, take a card out of him, perfect. And then blue tome. So tome, blue, blue, tome. Uh, if we can put these two blues underneath with the wildfire, then that's huge. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm almost tempted to take six here, even though it's going to hurt. Other options are just blocking six, playing the potion of deja vu out. Kind of down to take six. Um, the count was at eight, so it's at 12 now. Hmm, interesting lines. Oh, was it at seven? The count was at seven, wasn't it? Four plus three is seven. Kano whiffed, yeah. So we're at seven plus four, so we're at 12. Could have a really nuts stack. Um, the other option is just blocking six here and then pitching this away, just making sure I Kano Kano for the tome and then the wildfire when I get there. I think it's a little safer to do this as we're not losing as much health. Yeah, I think this is a bit better. All good. 
So when I get to the stack, it's just tome, blue, blue, tome, and then wildfire, so I'll Kano twice, and then I can just put the two blues together after this. So let's me clear my arsenal slot, put the nourish in there as well, and then there's another wildfire. Another Macho Grande from them, so pretty nice. We'll block with the shitty blue. Take five again. So not bad. Um, Want to pitch everything here. So my count was 11, right? So it was four and then plus three was seven. And then we whiffed on the Kano and then plus four was 11. And so plus four again, uh, so we're at 15. Count's at 15. Here I can activate Kano. A pot's huge. I think I'll do a Kano again, because I can just use the tunic and the other thing here. So yeah. Um, so it's 15, 16 off the A pot, 17 off the spindle. Do I want to shoot the spindle instead? It's honestly not a bad idea even though I want these two blues to be at the bottom of the deck. So maybe I just banish it to get it out of the way, which I will do. And then activate Tunic. And then shoot this with the Wildfire. So our stack's looking insane already. Um, they're probably going to have to give us a card here as well, so it's going to negate their offense a bit here. Putting them on the three card hand again. Uh, so the count was 15, 16 off the EPOS, 17 off the spindle. So it counts at 17, 17, 17. Big thing with it is repetition to yourself. Uh, it's an old trick that if you repeat something to yourself eight times, then you're more likely to remember it. And then, so 17, we get the trigger. Make sure we stack blue, blue, and then the wildfire. And then here's sync below, so it's really nice because we can simply sync something that we want. But if they have pummel here, I might just go block block. Block like that. Maybe just block three and then look to shoot them hard out. If they have the pummel, I'll just sync just to save life. Sounds good to me. Nice. So the count was 16, 17, plus five. So we're at 22 now, 22, 22. And our stack's already insane. Tome, blue, blue, tome, wildfire, blue, blue, wildfire. So absolutely insane. And it looks like they're heaving a thunderquake, which is fine. We need to activate Kano here. See what we hit. We hit a red aether flare. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shoot this in the lessons. If they give me a card here, maybe I'll just pitch the lessons, put it next to the wildfire, and then we can just stack the blazing whenever we want, which I think is probably better for the stack wise, because even if we do take two cards out of them with this and then the lessons, they can still just pay three to attack for eight anyway. So interesting decision. Do I want to play for the stack or do I want to play? I guess if I take another card out of them, it prevents a pummel on this, but if they got a pummel, it's like, yeah, you just, you got it. So I'll go Kano, C and I, doesn't really matter. Um, and then we stack this under the wildfire and then a gaze. And then, so we got four, four more. So the count was 22, I believe. This was 17, 22, and then 23 from the Kano, so we're at 27 with this plus 4. And then comes in with Dominate, this is why Sync is so good. Block 3. And then block here. Uh, we'll Sync because it just ramps us to second cycle anyway. And that's a nice hit. So let me take one there. Um, so I could do that repeat thing again. So we're at 17, then it was plus five. Uh, so 22, then 23, and then plus four, 27, then sync plus one. So 28, 28, 28, 28. Now we'll Kano okay, these to the bottom. Oh. Mm. 
Maybe I'll just keep this for a huge hit, but I can also just bottom both and helps us ramp towards whatever. So at 28, if I bottom both, it goes to 30, then Sonic Boom will be 31, 32 with the Kano. But I think I like damaging him. So I'll top both. Then we'll shoot this. So even if they AB3 here, should be all right. So 28, 28, 28, 28. Uh, took one, so he AB'd one, so this only cost one from Sonic Boom. Good card. Coming in for three. Oh, the thing is, if he AB3's here, yeah, I don't get that wildfire, but that's fine. So 28, 29 right now. 29, 29, 29, 29, plus four. Ugh. Weird hand. Um, 29, plus four is 33. So we're halfway there. This is coming in for four. 33, I think I will just block three. Looking to ask some of this tome, and I'll also just play this tome. So 33, 33, 30, 33. Not bad. 33, this is gonna go to. Oh. 33, 33, 33, 33. Uh, so it's 33. I'm assuming they just wanted to arsenal this card, but maybe not. Yeah, they did. Okay, so 33. This is going to put us to 35. Um, that's a bug. There we go. Um, so we're at 35 now. Oh, so I kind of want the sink in there. 35. I really want to gain the life of this, but I really want this to stop the dominate. 35, and I know the other two tones are at the bottom. Hmm. I think I will Kano. This will put us to 36, and let us choose which one of these we want to keep. Um, so we're at 36 now. Yeah, I think I will grab the flare. If they AB3 this, it's going to hurt their offense, and then maybe we can keep the tome there to draw more cards. There's also another sink left in the deck anyway, so yeah, let's go. So that's 36 with that cane, all right? 36, 36, 36. So they don't AB. Um, 36 plus four is 40, so we're at 40, almost there. They really got to disrupt us right now because we get a Tome of Fiendo as well, which will ramp us towards that second cycle and just put us way above life. So there's no chance of us getting killed before we get to that God stack. So it was 36, now we're at 40, 40, 40, 40. Just keep on repeating it to myself. And then the stack was Tome, Blue, Blue, Tome, Wildfire, Blue, Blue, Wildfire. And that should just be enough to kill. As long as we arsenal a blazing. So one's on the bottom, one's unknown. A um, little bit suspect that this is coming in for eight and there's nothing else. Oh, no dominate, I mean, so there's a good chance it's getting pummeled. Um, if he's got the pummel, he's got it, so I'm just gonna block six. Nice, doesn't have it. So it's at 40, and now it's going to go to 42, 43 with the Kano, shoot that, 43, takes it, nice, Kano again, oh, really nice. So this one's 44, the spindle, 44, and it's coming in for 6, nice, nice. Um, so 46, if we bottom all three, it'll be 49, and then, so 46, 46, 46, pretty happy to just bottom everything, I think, 46, this will be 49, then we draw up to 53, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that.
49 and then 53 right here, right? Yeah, 53, 53, 53. Oh, big Terra Sunder. It's fine, I'll just block three. Take four, discard these two, play the E-Pot out. It's fine. Let's play the E-Pot. 43, no, 53 plus four. Uh, so we go up to 57. And one of these top cards is a, the last E pot. 57. So I just block two and then Kano twice. 57. So there's three cards on top. And then it's the tomes and blues and stuff. Interesting how we can play this. I want to Arsenal this Blazing. And I do kind of want to Kano Kano and see if we can hit the E pot, but it's not even like it's completely needed. So I could just go block block, block the 5 arsenal, the blazing, draw the 3 unknowns and then the top card should be tome and then we can go like that which sounds fine to me. So I won't be doing anything on our turn since our count is whatever. So take 5, all good. Yep, and then pretty interesting but just gonna pass here and so the top card should be tome if we counted correctly and yeah I think that should just be game so depending on whatever the bar it actually just doesn't matter what the Bravo has um, so this is the added perk they don't know I'm at stack because like they can't really keep track of my deck as much as I can Especially while they're trying to kill me, so all good. Should just paint on to this time. And it's the E pot, and then it's home, isn't it? <coughs> ah, embarrassing. But as you're gonna see, uh, how broken this strat is, I can whiff it like that, like my count's off by one, and watch me still just demolish them. So, uh, play the tome out, draw two blues, then we go Kano into a tome, Kano into a wildfire. And then we're going to play out this tome, draw two blues, and then next card should be a wildfire. And then I believe the card under this was a lesson, so let's grab that as well. Um, so grab the lesson, and then let's just pop everything because it surely doesn't matter. Oh well, the next card, let's just have a look with the rags. It was a blue. The gaze, that's right. Not that it should matter at all anyway. Um, let's quickly count up our resources. So we've got <laughs> 11 resources and we can go wildfire, wildfire, lesson, blazing, blazing. So two, four, five. Kano for the second blazing is eight and then one for that, so it's nine. So we get two pumps as well, so yeah. Uh, let's pay for the pump. So six there. Even if they have Oasis here, I can just respond with the second wildfire in response to Oasis. Um, so the AB3, take three, it's perfect. So this one we can't pump, but it's already pumped. So this one's coming in for seven. Can't pump because we need to save one for the, the lessons and the storm striders. So that came in for six. Lesson comes in for 12. Uh, yeah, we'll tutor up the blazing. Kano into blazing. Yeah. And then storm striders. And then blazing. And then blazing. GG. So even though I messed up that stack, we still just murder them. So that one's going to be 30 and then the next one's going to be 60, uh, 67 or some shit. So it's going to be like over a hundred damage turn. So tell us in the comments what you guys think of the strategy. Do you think it's the real deal? Or do you think it's bullshit? And also, if you're interested in learning something like this, consider subscribing to our Patreon, where I go really in depth with all the Kano strategies just to help level up your game. But thank you for watching to the end. That's it for the video. Peace.